How's it going everybody? Today is the third video in the Home Assistant front end tips and tricks. Um, and today we're going to be going over the visual editor, uh, sometimes referred to as the UI editor. Um, so what this is, is um, in Lovelace, you're able to edit your dashboard or your, your user interface. Um, and what you, that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. That includes, and that includes badges, which are up at the top here, uh, as well as cards. So uh, currently what we're looking at is the default view, which is the, if you load up Home Assistant, you create a new dashboard, um, then this is the dashboard that you'll see. Um, this is a generated dashboard. So what that means is we automatically create cards and badges for you um, and, and place them on your screen for your default view. Um, now you're able to edit that and you're able to take control of your dashboard, but that does come with you know no more generated uh, views. Uh, so we'll go into that and see what that means. Uh, so to edit your dashboard for the first time, all you need to do is go up to the top right, and hit the overflow menu and click edit dashboard. Uh, so what that'll take you to is this pop up that says take control of your Lovelace UI. Now what that means is we are giving you the access to take control so that we no longer generate it. That means that you are in control of creating cards. If you add new devices, then you you have to go in there and create the card and then create the badges to add them to your dashboard. We don't automatically add them. And that's all that means. Um, sometimes people think that this message is scary and don't take control. It's really easy, super simple, and you'll get it immediately. But Let's go ahead and go over what this means. So it says this dashboard is currently being made, maintained by Home Assistant. It is automatically updated when the new entities or Lovelace UI components become available, which means as soon as you create them or add them to Home Assistant, they will automatically be added to the dashboard. Um, and if you can take control, this is no longer going to be updated. Um, and But you can always take control of your dashboard uh, or you can always create a new dashboard that will be generated automatically. Um, so you can do that in your configuration uh, menu of Home Assistant. Uh, we may get there in this video, we will see. Um, and then also you have this option to start with an empty dashboard. So what that means is you can either start with the dashboard that we already generated, or you can start with an empty dashboard. And that's what we're going to do. And this is what this means. This will, is what this will show. I'll hit take control and it'll automatically put us into edit mode. Um, as you can tell by the orange edit icons here. Um, and this is now an empty view. So what we have to do, this is actually no view. This is no uh, view. This is uh, just an empty dashboard. So what we'll do is we need to create a new view, right? So uh, we click the create the add button up here, the top left, and it brings us to this screen. So what this is saying is we're able to give it a, the view a title an icon, a URL, a theme. And all these are optional. We go ahead and automatically create a name for this if you don't want to name it yourself. Um, and that's completely fine. Um, so we're gonna actually do this. We're gonna give this a dashboard name. Icon, we're just gonna give it dashboard. Um, actually, let's do run, just because I know that's an icon. Um, also, what you'll see is we automatically added this URL here. You're able to change it, but I always suggest that you just keep it the same, makes it super simple so that you know the title of your dashboard is the URL of your dashboard. And what that'll mean is you can type that up here at the top. You know, you can say um, love, you can say lovelace slash dashboard slash dashboard. So that's your dashboard view. Um, we can go over that in a second. And then we can also theme it with whatever theme. Um, and that's on a pure, pure per view basis, um, but we're not gonna do that right now. That's something you can explore um, on your own. Um, and then we can also render this in panel mode. What that means is panel mode is used for one card and it'll be the full width and the full height of the view. And that'll be of your you know, your window, your your TV, your monitor, whatever that is, your, your phone. It'll be the full width and height of that view. Um, any, if you add any other cards, then you, that those will not be displayed on the screen. We're just, we're not going to, um, mess with panel mode. We're just going to create a view for now and we'll come back to that later. So let's save. 
And now we saved it. Um, it has created a view up here and automatically used the icon. So let's go ahead and actually edit it one more time because I want to show that you can also show the text. But right now we do, if you, if you give us an icon, we're going to use the icon for the display of the view title. But if you don't give us an icon, then we'll use the title that you gave. Now you can see dashboard is at the top. Um, so now we have a view. It's an empty view. And um, we can now start adding cards to it. So let's let's go ahead and add one card. Um, so what that is, is you can hover over here and say add card. Um, it's just this uh, orange plus sign and maybe a different color for you, de depending on what theme you uh, currently have activated. But we can press that icon there and it'll bring up this picker. What this is, is all of our cards in Home Assistant that you can choose. We are going to start with the simplest of cards called the Entities card. All I have to do is click on this um, little preview. It's automatically going to bring up this card editor and uh, allow me to start editing this card before I place it onto my view. Um, and you can also see that it's automatically added some of the entities that I have in my Home Assistant um, already to my card. And that's just so that you, we can show you what, what can be on the card, what your options are, right? So let's say that I don't want these. I can go ahead and delete them using this little X right here. And I want to add my lights to this card. Bed light, kitchen light, and a decorative switch. So this is um, just a little switch that is called my lights. Um, but basically all it is is uh, an outlet that I can control. Um, and you'll see over here, it's a live preview. I can, or I can actually turn my lights on and off via this preview. Um, and we can uh, edit and move these entities, these rows as we want. So if I want to move this, now the bed light is underneath the kitchens and I can move the switch all the way to the top. Um, what we also have here up at the top is another toggle. And if I click this, it'll turn everything on. And if I turn it off, it'll turn everything off. I think I'm currently on a dead field and that didn't work. I didn't realize that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it off. Um, what we can also do is update the title. And this is basically for all cards. You can have a title. Uh, some of them are a little bit different placement, but most cards you can either have a title or a name. Um, and we're going to call this entities card. Now, that is the basics of creating the entities card, creating a card from an empty view. Uh, all we have to do now is save, but I want to mention a few things. Um, one, I go over creating uh, or editing these uh, rows in another video that you can find. Um, I'll try and link it up to the top here, uh, but um, you can look at that video, check out all the, the different options for entity rows and uh, how we can show every type of entity that um, or every type of entity row in this card uh, in the UI editor. Uh, another one other thing that I want to mention is the show code editor button down at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but what you can do is all of Home Assistant Lovelace is currently managed in YAML. Um, so if you want to go into a more advanced option, then you can read the documentation of each card and figure out the YAML code that actually creates this card as well. Um, but that is a little bit more advanced than I want to get into. I just want to go over the visual editor for this video, so we're going to move on. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and it's automatically going to be added to my dashboard. Now, we're still in edit mode. We can now edit this card. We can now continue editing the view, we can continue editing everything about the Lovelace dashboard. But let's go ahead and edit. Let's go ahead and add more cards. So I'm going to add more cards really quickly. Light card. Let's add an alarm card. More here. Picture entity card. And let's also add a sensor. So now you can see that we have multiple cards on our dashboard. 
um, and they're they're currently displayed in a way so that they're, the height of the cards is about even or as even as we can make it on every column. So there's currently three columns. As you can see, the combination of all these cards is making it so that they're at you know the most similar height that we can make. Um, the next thing that we can do is actually move those cards. So just because we put them in this way doesn't mean that they can't be moved. The only issue with that is once you move a card up, that just moves it up in the algorithm that sorts them. So let's move this card up. You can see that it went up here. So what that means is we place the entities card first, then the button card, and then the picture entities card. And then from there, we added the other cards to the bottom. And we use a, we use a, uh, a calculation that says, what is the height of the of each column? Now add, a, add this card to the column that has the least amount of pixels in that column, the least amount of height in that column. That's what we're doing here. Um, so it can, can get a little weird if you are clicking the up arrow and it doesn't go where you expect it to. Um, that's kind of expected. Um, it is a little bit weird, um, but there's this is the best way so that you can view as much on your screen as possible. So not everything's all up on one side, not everything's all up on the right side. And side. Um, but um, that is how you move your cards. Another thing that you can do to your cards is actually duplicate them. So we can what that means is we can take a copy of that card and then you can edit it from there. So let's hit duplicate card here. And now that is a direct copy of that entities card that we just created. You can say entities card, save it, and it automatically adds it to the view. And you can see that it's exactly the same as this card, except that the title is now changed because we changed it. Um, the next thing that we can do, and we're gonna go through this fast, uh, trying to make this a short video, short and sweet, but we can click the more info icon here, which is the three dots on top of each other and click delete. So it's big and red. We are also going to show you a confirmation and you can actually touch and back with that. But we're going to show you this and then you can see which card that you are deleting. And then you can press delete again if you are sure you want to delete that card. So now uh, we hit delete again. That card is no longer in our view um, and we can't get that back. So when it is, once it is deleted, it is deleted. Um, there's no coming back from that. Um, you will have to create the card again or copy just as we did before. So we've gone over most of the options on the um, card. I think there's one more, but we need to do uh, one other thing first. So we created our first view and that, that you know that's our dashboard. But what if we want a few more views in this dashboard? Up here, say dashboard to create this. And now we have a dashboard too. Say, but, but let's say that on dashboard one, we actually don't want the button card here. We actually want that to be on dashboard two, but we can move it directly from this dashboard to your other dash, to from deck, directly from this view to another view. So let's click move to view, have our dashboard here, and we want to move it from dashboard view to dashboard two view. So we click dashboard two. You see that the card has disappeared from this dashboard and we can go to the next one. And the card is automatically created, set up exactly the same as it was on dashboard one, but now on dashboard two. Um, so all that means is we just moved the card. Um, the next thing you can do is you can actually move views. So um, there's little arrow car or little arrows up in the top next to your view name click so if i click the left arrow what that means is it says move view left we click that now dashboard two is actually to the left of dashboard um, and we can move it to the left and then if we're on dashboard right we can move it to the right okay so that that's moving views um, let's actually go into a view real quick and see the other options we use in dashboard two, we have one card. It's a button card. 
what if we want that button to be the full screen so that you know we put it up on a we put it up on a wall on a tablet that's the only card it's, let's say it's just a you know a light card it's going to only be used to turn the lights on and off we go to click panel view click save now this button is the full width and height of the view and click it interact with it turn the lights on and off and it's fully interactive but the full width of this view um, so I think we've gone over the basics of editing a view, editing a card, moving cards, all the options on a card, most of the options on a view, which we can go into a few more. Um, and we've also added a card, deleted a card. Um, and now we can go ahead and delete a view. So delete our dashboard to real quick. First, actually, let's, let's go ahead and delete it. So we're going to delete this view. It's going to bring you up a warning. I'm going to say, if you delete this, these cards are also going to be deleted. This cannot be undone. It's just like deleting a card. You cannot get that back. You cannot get the view back. You cannot get your cards back. We're going to go ahead and say, okay. And now that dashboard is no longer in our, or no, that view is no longer in our dashboard. Sorry, I keep getting these confused. I call them dashboards. I don't know why I did that. So let's call this a view. So this is actually a view. We're inside of a dashboard. There are views. So let's go ahead and click this view again. Edit it. We can actually add badges. So let's add a sensor badge really quickly for the brightness of a card or, or one of my lights. So this is now a badge that shows the brightness of a light. And all that is is a numerical value with the, with the unit and the name of the entity. Super simple, badges are really cool, um, and they are always added to the top of your views. So if we click save, you can now see that this badge was added to the top of our view. One more thing that we can talk about, and it's the visibility of this view. Uh, what we can see here is the users that I have in my Home Assistant, um, we can show we can either choose to show or not show this view to certain users so for myself i would like to see this but for my test user i do not want him to see that view we'll go ahead and click this toggle off and save and now my test user if he ever logs in can no longer see that view in this dashboard um that i think is actually all of the um, configuration for a view. So now we can get into one last configuration thing. It's configuring the title of your Lovelace dashboard. So what that is, is that if we click out of the edit mode, currently it's called Home Assistant. We can actually update that. So let's say we don't want it to be Home Assistant. We want it to be, this is my home. Save, back. Now it says, this is my home. This can be updated to be whatever you want, as long as it's in a text. Uh, and it'll, um, and you can also delete it so that it goes back to Home Assistant. Um, so that is something that is going to be always displayed at the top because it is in the header. So um, let's go ahead and delete it real quick. And we can see that it goes back to Edit UI in the edit and Home Assistant when you're not in the editor. So that's really cool. Um, you're able to always show that up there. So for example, if you want to say, this is my, you know, my living room dashboard, this is my kitchen dashboard, etc. You can do that up in there. Um, also, you'll see that the view actually disappeared because we only have one of them. So for example, if I wanted to show this view name, I could just update this title to the same thing as that view so that you made sure that that view name is shown. Um, Overall, I think that is it. Um, I actually, I think there's one more thing that I want to go through. And that is creating cards from the unused entities. So what that means, unused entities are all the entities not cur currently used in this whole dashboard. So if you have multiple views with multiple cards, with multiple entities in those cards, it's going to be the whole dashboard, all of those views, any entity that you're not currently using. So let's say I want to add my bathroom speaker, a bedroom TV, 
and say I want to you to do my weather. I want to add those to my view. This is a really quick and easy way to go ahead and add those to your view because we automatically suggest cards that fit those entities. So now you can see it, it is suggesting to add my bathroom speaker as a media card, my bedroom TV as a media card, as well as my weather entity as a weather card. You can click add to Lovelace UI, go back to my view, you can see that this is automatically added to my UI, which is super cool, super easy way to get as many cards as you want on your screen uh, as fast as possible. Um, and I think that is it for the UI editor, the visual editor, the dashboard editor, anything that you want to call it. Um, it is called a lot of different things, uh, but I think we're going to settle on dashboard editor. Uh, this is your, your home assistant dashboard. This is where you're going to view all your sensors, everything. Um, so with that being said, that is this video. Um, I'll link uh, the entity row editor, entities row editor video, but um, you should be able to go back in my uploads and view that if you want more information. Um, and we are going to um, continue these videos for different um, different parts of the UI. Maybe we'll get into the automation editor. We could get into uh, the different cards, how they work, how they can be displayed on the screen. Um, but I, this is mostly for you know non-advanced um, users and home assistant. Really trying to hit uh, for these type of videos, the the visual editors, trying to make sure that we have all of those covered all those documented, make sure everyone knows how to use those. Um, but that is it for now. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe, give this a like um, so you can see my other videos. That'd be great. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later.